because we we as well Sudan we call it the Sudanese civil war. Uh, but Osama bin Laden was there, leading the army. We are the government of Sudan. So how how do we prepare this? Is it a, a Sudanese civil war with terrorism war or or they different? Let me uh, deal with the, the first question first in terms of uh, uh, these comments which have been made, uh, uh, which were reported in the, in the press. Um, one party cannot unilaterally abrogate the, the peace agreement. If you look at the details of the, of the, um, of the peace agreement, you will see that the National Congress Party does not have the right to unilaterally abrogate that peace agreement. It was a peace agreement which was negotiated between the parties but supported and witnessed by the entire international community or, you know, the UN, the major uh, countries in the region, in, um, in Europe and, and the US. Um, there is a lot of attention and uh, time being allocated to monitoring the actual implementation of all aspects of the of the CPA. Okay, there is you know, considerable resources also being devoted to that. Now, uh, what people tend to forget is there are seven or eight thousand UN peacekeeping troops already in Sudan. There are blue hats, um, you know, all. Uh, but they, of course, they are in the south. But they're also in places like you have some in Damascus, uh, you have some in uh, Kadugli, uh, you have uh, people in Wau. Wau is just uh, you know so close to to Darfur. Uh, you have them in Juba. So there are UN peacekeeping uh, forces in Sudan. Uh, the question is of uh, deploying them in Darfur and also sort of uh, transforming the the African Union mandate. Um, I, I think that the implementation of the CPA uh, will not really, uh, the international community will not allow that to happen. Uh, the, uh, the Khartoum regime is just saying we're walking away from it. There's, there'll be a lot of uh, pressure on that. And part of that is actually strengthening the situation in the South. So investing in the south, and the people of the south, in the capacities of the government of southern Sudan. Dr. John's vision of one country, two systems is very clear, and implementing that vision is really uh, what is so important to maintaining the, the CPA. On the issue of the, uh, this international war on terror, uh, uh, I think that's, uh, that is, um, that is, that's a, a valid question. I'm not saying that, uh, um, but I'm really, I'm not in a position to to answer it in a in a public uh, forum uh, concerning the particular issue on uh, on Osama bin Laden. And but I can say one thing, and that is, uh, we have sanctions against the government of uh, Sudan related to terrorism, but we also have a dialogue with them. On related to uh, uh, to counterterrorism, so uh, we're trying to do it both ways. And if, if you if you saw the 60 minutes uh, piece yesterday, which really focused on Darfur but touched upon uh, the, the subject you are raising, uh, that's you know uh, quite accurate in terms of what was related to in that uh, in that piece. So I leave it as uh, as that. It is. Okay. Now one last question, is that? Okay, but it's already 9.30. Yeah. Okay. We learned that National Congress Party in Sudan is directing the SDNIP. The UN forces went to the airport, then the CPA will be on. What do you think will be the reaction of the international government? I think I just... Uh, uh, responded to this. That was the same question which was uh, mentioned. I, th I don't think the international community is going to sit by and see uh, the national or any one party walking away from the CPA. There's too much at stake 
uh, for Sudan, for the region, and for uh, the international community to see the CPA actually collapse. Uh, this guy. Okay. I think uh, we will, it's 9.30, so I think we will. What is it?